It's been a busy summer, but I'm ready for La Liga. Maybe? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Building FC Andorra with me, Andrew, and we are on the eve of our first game in La Liga, taking on Valencia. We've got a few things to catch you up with first. Let's start with transfers. So we're going to play the same 4-4-2 diamond. I want to try and stick to that all the way through as a style, as a philosophy, and we'll see how it goes. There's been no major outs, which is pretty good. No one massive has left. I think Ruben Henry's on his way out. Uh, Lugo actually want him, who are in La Liga with us. And that makes me feel a little bit better because we need to be better than three teams in this league. So I'm hoping that Lugo and Elche are two of them. Then it only takes us one other team to be worse than us and we stay up. And that's the only hope for this year. So if they want Ruben Henry, and I think he is like our fifth or sixth choice striker, that bodes well. So the transfers that matter, first off, is Osvaldo Carranza. And I can say his name, Carranza Osvaldo. Definitely getting Osvaldo on the back of his shirt. 18 years old, free transfer. He has... He's only got nine finishing. And I'm going to play him as an advanced forward because he's got 16 acceleration, 15 agility, 14 pace, 15 decisions, 14 composure, 13 off the ball, 14 dribbling. If we can get him on the end of some through balls, I'm hoping the composure and the technique of 13 combine for someone who's going to get better at finishing and can score some goals for us. He scored 24 and 78 for Barranquilla in Colombia, so I'm hoping he can hit the net for us too. Next one's a big one, another free transfer, Samuel Mtiti. Ignore the physicals, right? We know he's not really the fastest, but he can mark, he can tackle, he can pass. He's got position in 15, teamwork of 16, work rate of 13, good mentals, bit of La Liga knowledge. We played nearly 100 games at Barcelona, and we got him on 9k a week. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But a French international, a World Cup winner in Andorra. I'm really pleased with that. Wanted a new goalkeeper, got a new goalkeeper. Etienne Green coming in from St Etienne for £1 million. Still only 24. He's got under 21 caps for England. He's got 15 aerial reach. He's 6 foot 4. 13 one on ones. 14 reflexes. Good mentals as well. I think this kid could be an absolute star and he could be with us for a while, hopefully giving him number one jersey as well. Then another free transfer is Matthias Cranavita, the Argentine midfielder. He's going to play DM, marking, positioning, teamwork, work rate, mentals are off the scale, still got the physical ability. For a free transfer, he's 31, like absolutely superb and he's going to anchor this defence for us, and it's going to be a hard season to compete. Then we've got a lonely striker, really struggled to find a striker. Uh, Bamba Diang, he's going to join next season permanently. Like, maybe we'll make some money off him down the line. So, dribble and finish in first touch. Composure's 12, off the ball's 14, he's fast. He's going to play back up to Osvaldo. I think he's good enough to do a job for us. Then the big one, 31 years old, Jerome Rousselon, former Montpellier and Wolfsburg left back, like crossing and dribbling a 13, acceleration 14, pace of 14, off the ball 14, positioning 12, marking, tackling, mentals are great, paid two and a half million for him. He is going to boost our left back situation, that's the one that we get up and down, we let them bomb on, made 120 games for Wolfsburg, experience, he's got it all couple of years left in him he is our left back going forward and after all those signings where is the season preview media prediction rank bottom 1000 to 1 to win but we're 200 to 1 worse off than Lugo 700 to 1 worse off than Elche they don't think much of Katafi they don't think much of, of uh, Osasuna or Almira 
We've beaten Almira before. We've beaten Osuna before. I don't know. I think with the tactic, with the signings, I think we're in a, a much stronger place. And all I wanted this summer was for us to be better. And I think we have, if we look at our best 11, we've still got Jean Vier. I could do with a right back to back up Jean Vier. Ennis, Umtiti, Roussillon, Kranviter, Fran and Alvarado, Gelabert, who is going to get his chance at this level, Carranza and Brenner. We've got Diang on the bench, we've got uh, Mazucci on the bench, Zuli, Rafa Martin. I think I'm going to start Etienne Green, to be honest. Yeah, let's. We're going to give it a go. Tactically wise, against the best teams, I'm going to try cautious at first. We're still going to play the same passing style. But I'm going to try it on cautious. Try and keep the ball. Try and just protect ourselves a little bit and, and see how we get on. I've also got. I think we'll play positive against the likes of Lugo, Almira, those guys. And I've got a balanced win. Maybe if we're uncautious and we're dominating, we'll put it on balance, see if we can eke some shots out. But I think against like the top 10, we'll try it on cautious. Hopefully La Liga is going to be our home for the next 20 years. So let's keep an eye on what's going on. So Julian Lopetegui has left Villarreal. Alan Geiger has come in. Swiss manager being around the block in Africa, it seems. Uh, Almira have lost Francisco Rodriguez. And coming in is Carlos Vicens. Uh, former Huesca Man City coach. Okay, could be decent. Let's look at the biggest moves so far, and we'll do this again at the end of the, the transfer window. For Barcelona, I've got Ruben Neves for 60 million. Rodri's moved to Real Madrid for 57 up to 68. Uh, Maxime Lopez going to Barca for 48 million. Okay. Nico's gone to Arsenal. Vendel has gone to Barca. Dodo. Guess he's a new gen. Nope, he's a Brazilian right back. Okay. Uh, Umar has gone from Inter to Barcelona for 22. Barcelona have gone strong, haven't they? Ivan Martin to Bobao. Alban Lafont from PSG to Real Madrid. A hat train we tried to get on loan has gone to Osasuna for 5 million. Big signing for them. And it's good to see that no one else around us has really spent any money. But we'll come back, we'll look at this again after the window closes and see what the guys around us have done. We've doubled our season tickets. Come on. That's awesome. Finances wise, we've got 16 million in the bank. We don't have any of our transfer budget left. We'll spend that, but we've got we're not struggling anymore. I think have we got any debt left? Bit of transfer debt, half a million, nothing. Facilities wise, our pitch is very good. We've got great training facilities and great youth facilities. Uh adequate adequate academy coaching and good youth recruitment. So that's getting better and better. So here we go. This is the 11 for our first league game in the top flight against Valencia. Brenner and Carranza up front, Gelabert, Alvarado, Fran, uh, Canfiter, Roussillon, Mtiti, Rafa Marin, and Jean Vier with Etienne Green in goals. I'm happy with this team. It's all going to go to shit, isn't it? But I'm happy with what we've got. So let's start on Cautious and we'll see how this goes. Wish us luck. I love it. We're still playing at our little stadium as well. We've got two years to build on this. But I think they're holding out to see if we stay up or not. I'd like to get a new stadium at some point, but I don't I don't need one yet. Here we go, our first game in the league is underway. It's not quite the onslaught we possibly expected. Here comes Gelabert with free kick, plays it in, goes oh just over the bar from Gelabert. Oh, it's a good effort. And here we go. Valencia building down the left. Goncalo Guedes, he's been looking for a move away. Soler's on a yellow. And we'll let them knock it about there, that's fine. That's a good ball, the running goals, and Marina said, like, oh, that looked like a great tackle. Oh, it's a harsh way. It's given the pin. Disappointed in that decision. Vallejo makes it 1-0. It's not a lot we can do. We can see the penalty. We've got to stay on feet as well. So, a very uneventful first half. If you take away their penalty, we've actually got a better XG. There's no point going gung-ho yet, but there's no point whimpering to a 1-0 defeat. So if it gets to 65 and we're still in it, might go positive. Free kick, Gelabert to take. 
outside the area. Good position. He goes for it. Score! Cesar Gelabert with Andorra's first La Liga goal, and it had to be him. Cesar, the former Real Madrid youngster, curls it beautifully into the top corner. That's what we want to see. And we'll stick on cautious for now. Maybe the last 15, maybe? Every point matters, doesn't it? Throwing Diang on, Umtiti's on a 6.3, he's off. 20 minutes to go. Oh, 10 minutes to go, do a stick or twist. We're going positive. We'll take that. <laughs> uh, no one played well, but we had a better XG than they had. You take away the penalty, and that's the only real chance they had. If you look at the analytics, shot saved, shot saved. Let's see, we had the better chances. Played fairly well. I wonder why MTT had a bad game. <laughs> I counted the stats, he had no fills, he had no tackles, he had one interception, and that was it. Anyway, that's a, a quality point at home against Valencia, who came seventh. They were in the last European spots, so we will take that as a as a point in game there. So last season, if you got a point a game, you'd have finished 13th. That has to be the average I'm looking for. If we can get to 30, we should be safe. 29 to go. So that'll do us for this episode, this first start of the season. Sorry, the game was a bit uneventful. Uh, I'm going to try and keep doing that to get points against these big boys. And then when we play anyone who's 10 for below, I'm going to go positive, try and get the win. So maybe rather than watch us get pumped off Barcelona, those are the games I'll come back for when we've actually got a chance to play positive and try and win some games. And I'll grind it out myself uh, away from camera. So thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like on it. We're going to push on with this. It's our first season on La Liga. We need to stay up. I hope that we do. If you get, if you get likes... 10 likes in this video, we're staying up. <laughs> Honest. No, thank you for watching. For me, Andrew, until next time, cheers.